Israel accuses the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees, or UNRWA, of letting the militant group Hamas use its infrastructure in the Gaza Strip for military activity. Carlo Valdez has the details. Israeli spokesperson Elon Levy accuses UNRWA of being a front for Hamas. In a video statement, Levy says the UN agency has been fundamentally compromised in three main ways. One, hiring terrorists on a massive scale. Two, letting its infrastructure be used for Hamas military activity. And three, relying on Hamas for aid distribution in the Gaza Strip. Levy alleges that 10% of the UNRWA employees were members of Hamas or Islamic Jihad militant groups in Gaza. No evidence, however, has been provided. It is not a neutral organization. It has been hijacked by Hamas, and it is the mechanism that Hamas uses to launder its propaganda and talking points for the world. UNRWA is riddled with Hamas members. Our intelligence indicates that out of approximately 12,000 UNRWA employees in the Gaza Strip, about 10% are Hamas or Islamic Jihad operatives, and another 50% are first-degree relatives of a Hamas operative. The UN agency has long been under scrutiny from Israel. The Israeli government accuses it of systematically going against the country's interests. Last week, Israel charged that a number of UNRWA employees were involved in the Hamas attack of October 7 on Israel. This accusation forced several countries, including the United States, Britain, Germany, and Japan to cut funding to the agency. Israel has vowed to stop the agency's work in Gaza after the war. Carlo Valdez from Matanang Aguila International Trusted Connected on Point.